Hi students, in this session, let us try to find out equivalent resistances for different circuits. Okay, so in this <coughs> series parallel combinations only I am going to consider because star delta conversions we will do after two port networks. Okay, and immediately after this session, we will introduce inductance, capacitance, energy storage problems. And after that, series parallel combination of inductance and capacitance also. Here in this, only fundamentally only one conclusion. What is that? Whenever you find long short circuit paths, okay, long short circuit paths, just give node numbers, problem will be solved. Okay, just give node numbers node numbers problem will be solved so logic is very simple conclusion is very simple if you find long short circuit pass give node numbers let us see for example this is the circuit given okay in this circuit given see from here to here this is long short circuit okay see that if it is for example node x this is also will be node x only okay because short circuit and if this is node y this is going to be node y this is going to be node y because everything is going to be short circuit here okay now 80 ohm is connected across x y and 20 is also connected across x y so 20 and 80 are connected in parallel okay so r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 so 20 into 80 so it is going to be 16 ohms okay it is 16 ohms now after that if you see 12 and 6 are they connected in parallel or not yes so 12 and 6 connected in parallel 12 into 6 divided by 18 will give you 4 ohms 4 ohms okay so if you see from here to here here to here and one more thing is uh, finding equivalent circuit uh, circuit resistance equivalent circuit resistance is very important again in Thevenis equivalent also so this is 16 ohm this is 4 ohm from here to here both are connected in series so net resonant is going to be 20 ohm because 4 ohm plus 16 ohm 20 ohm now from here to here 20 ohm and from here to here 60 ohm so this 20 ohm and 60 ohm are they connected in parallel or not yes so 60 ohm into r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 20 divided by 60 plus 20 is going to be 80 15 ohm so from here to here from here to here from here to here i got 15 ohm 15 ohm okay after that that 15 ohm see here from here to here i got 15 ohm and across here to here i got 15 ohm and this is connected across this particular node and this particular node is nothing but this node only so this across total 15 ohm and this 15 ohm are connected in parallel so 15 and 15 parallel is going to be 7.5 so across this is going to be 7.5 ohm and 7.5 and 5 ohms are connected in series so net is going to be 12.5 ohm is going to be the equivalent resistance equivalent resistance right now let us think of this problem really you have seen here you are seeing long short circuit path okay for example this is node 1 this is node 2 across node 1 and 2 I am trying to find out our equivalent equivalent circuit okay so if it is 1 okay so this is going to be 1 this is going to be 1 okay if it is 2 this is going to be 2 this is going to be 2 okay now means what is this node it is neither 1 nor 2 so let me think of this as node 3 okay now if you observe 2k is connected between 1 and 3 and 1k is also connected between 1 and 3 okay so between 1 and 3 there are two resistances connected so it will be connected in parallel so we can say that this 2k and 1k are connected in parallel so 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 3 so it's going to be 2 by 3.66k so this is going to be 0.6667 kilo ohm these two okay now let us try to redraw the circuit so this is going to be 1 this is going to be 2 okay and between 1 and 3 combination of this so between 1 and 3 this is going to be 3 we have equivalent of 0.6667 k of course okay and after that 
between 1 and 2 between 1 and 2 I have 1k this is 1 and 2 1k okay and between 3 and 2 3 and 2 2k so between 3 and 2 3 2 this is going to be 2k okay so across 1 and 2 you are supposed to find equivalent resistance equivalent resistance 2k plus 0.666 2.66 and 1k connected in parallel so answer will be 2.667 into 1 divided by 3.667 so net equivalent is going to be 0.727 kilovolts okay now before starting the problem just uh, what do you say stop the video take this particular network try yourself try yourself and then watch the remaining part of the video now let us think of this let us think of this again same thing long short circuit pass long short circuit pass so for example if i think of this as node 1 if i think of this as node 2 and he is asking to find equivalent resistance across these two terminals okay now this is node 2 okay and this is node 2 because short circuit and this is node 2 okay and this is node 1 this is node 1 this is neither 1 or 2 let me take it as 3 okay now if you see here this 4k is connected between 1 and 2 okay so let me think of 1 here 2 here node 1 here node 2 here okay between 1 and 2 4k is connected and between 1 and 2 only i'm supposed to find out the equivalent resistance so between 1 and 2 i have 4k okay and after that between 2 and 3 between 2 and 3 i have 12k so between 2 and 3 okay so between 2 and 3 between 2 and 3 i have 12k okay so this is over this is over and between 3 and 1 between 3 and 1 i have 6k that is over between 3 and 1 i have 6k okay now after that between 2 and 3 i have 12k so this is 2 okay just a minute 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 yeah okay so this 4k is connected between 1 and 2 1 and 2 4k this is over between 2 and 3 12k between 2 and 3 12k this is over and between 1 and 3 6k between 1 and 3 6k this is over so this is remaining so between 2 and 3 12k between 2 2 and 3 12k problem solved okay now 12 and 12 6 6 and 6 uh, 12 12 and 4 12 and 4 so 12 into 4 by 60 in answer is going to be 3k So 3 kilo ohm is going to be the equivalent resistors okay and uh, if you maybe if you feel I'm going a bit fast and all no 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 it should be like that only okay means only simple parallel R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 when two resistors are connected in parallel and series R1 plus R2 that's it okay now let us think of this problem again okay so for example this is node A they have given this is node B they have given this will become B this will become B and this is a means that this is a short circuit now let us think of this as c because it is neither a nor b okay now if you see for example this is a and this is b this is b okay now across a and b i am supposed to find out the equivalent resistance so between a and c 20 ohm is there between a and c 20 ohm is there okay and after that between c and a 20 ohm is there between c and a between c and a again this is c this is a again 20 ohm okay and between c and b 10 ohm between c and b 10 ohm this is over and between a and b 5 ohm okay so between a and b 5 ohm so between a and b 5 ohm okay now 2020 so 2020 is going to be 10 10 10 is going to be 20 20 and 5 connected in parallel so 20 and 5 connected in parallel is going to be 4 ohm 4 ohm problem solved okay now let us take one more problem in this problem they have given bridge problem and it is c 
it is C meaning that it is also C okay they are asking to find out equivalent resistance across A and B of course question I did not take okay now you please stop the video here take this and try to solve and then go through the solution because in that way hands-on experience will be there anyway between A and B this is A and this is B okay so from A 10 ohms is connected so okay let me write here 10 ohms is connected from B 8 ohms is connected from B 8 ohms is connected after 10 ohm it is going to be D and after 8 ohm it is going to be E right now from D to C 5 ohms is connected D to C this is C 5 ohms is connected so 5 ohms is over 10 is over 8 is over previously okay and from E to C E to C how much is connected 6 ohm E to C this is E C 6 ohms is connected so cancel this okay and after that D to C see here D to C 20 ohms is connected so where is the yeah, D to C D to C how much is connected D to C 20 ohm so 20 ohm okay and after that C to E 3 ohm E to C C 3 ohm okay so 3 ohm is connected okay now <coughs> 5 and 20 are connected in parallel okay so 5 and 20 connected in parallel which will give you 4 ohm okay now 6 and 3 connected in parallel which will give you 2 ohm 3 plus 2, sorry 4 plus 2 is going to be 6 6 plus 10 is going to be 16 16 plus 8 is going to be 24 24 ohm okay in this problem 10 ohm 3 ohm 6 ohm 12 ohm this is a resistance network given resistance network given c are equivalent they are asking across a and b a and b okay so 5 and 1 connected in series so 6 ohm this 6 and 4 connected in parallel so 6 into 4 24 divided by 6 plus 4 10 is going to be 2.4 ohm okay so if you observe equivalent across db is 2.4 and this 12 ohm is also connected between db only no so 2.4 and 12 are connected in parallel so 2.4 into 12 2.4 into 12 divided by 14.4 is going to be up to here i got 2 ohms okay now if you observe okay basically in btec means step by step they will redraw the circuit redraw the circuit for example 51 is going to be 6 and by making this a 6 they will redraw the complete circuit but uh, our target is competitive exam so we should not redo all the things okay now <coughs> this 2 ohm across this db i got 2 ohms equivalent now this 2 ohms and this 1 ohm are connected in series so 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 ohm now across this particular equivalent 3 ohm and cb 6 ohm are connected in series sorry parallel okay so equivalent this 3 ohm after combining all these 3 ohm and this 6 ohm are connected in parallel so 3 into 6 18 by 3 plus 6 9 is going to be 2 so up to here equivalent is going to be 2 ohm now that equivalent 2 ohm and this 3 ohm are connected in parallel so 2 into 3 6 by 2 plus 3 5 so up to here is going to be 6 by 5 okay and after that this 6 by 5 equivalent and this 10 are connected in a series okay so 6 by 5 is going to 1.2 plus 10 is going to be 11.2 ohms okay now next thing is this is circuit given in this circuit again he is asking equivalent circuit across this okay basically one thing this equivalent circuit finding uh, equivalent resistance across given two terminals is very much important again in Thevenin's equivalent also you will observe that anyway see here in this circuit 20 and 5 are connected in parallel or not yes so 20 into 5 100 divided by 20 plus 5 25 is going to be equivalent 4 ohms okay now 4 plus 1 is going to be 5 ohms series 5 and 20 again connected in parallel because 4 plus 1 5 means equivalently from here to here this equivalently 5 
okay now that 5 and this given 20 ohm are connected in parallel so again 4 ohm so across this okay so across this including the 20 ohm i got 4 ohms okay now means from here to here i got 4 ohms and that particular 4 ohms and these 2 ohms are connected in series one thing again let me repeat 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 first of all uh, stop the video okay once you see the question stop the video take down the question try to solve by your own and then watch the solution okay so this particular 4 ohm and these 2 ohm are connected in series so up to here it is going to be 6 ohm okay now that 6 ohm and this 9 ohm this 9 ohm are connected in parallel 6 into 9 by 6 plus 9 okay so 6 into 9 okay, let me calculate 6 into 9 divided by 6 plus 9 15 is going to be 3.6 so up to here it is going to be 3.6 ohm okay so up to here it is going to be 3.6 ohm and this 3.6 ohm equivalent and this 18 are connected in parallel okay so 3.6 into 18 3.6 into 18 divided by 3 ohm so up to here this is going to be 3 ohm now that equivalent of 3 ohm and this 8 ohm are connected in series so answer will be 8 plus 3.6 right so 8 plus 8 plus 3 okay 8 plus 3 is going to be the answer okay is nothing but 11 ohm okay so like this we have to solve some problems okay immediately after this we will start inductance capacitance combinations and energy related stuff okay how much energy is stored in capacitance or inductance at, at any given point of time and all okay all the best